Meine Damen und Herren, liebe Zuschauerinnen und Zuschauer des Münchner Dogfestes, ich darf Sie ganz herzlich begrüßen. Mein Name ist Moritz Hohlfelder. Wir haben jetzt gleich das Q&A zu dem spanischen Film Periferia, der beim Dogfest in Kooperation mit der Bayerischen Architektenkammer gezeigt wird, in der Sektion Panorama als internationale Premiere. Wir befinden uns hier, das wird Sie vielleicht etwas verwundern, im Silbersaal des Deutschen Theaters, ein wunderschöner Barocksaal, in dem jetzt normalerweise, wenn wir Corona nicht hätten und damit die ganzen Auflagen und das Festival online stattfinden muss, wenn es also hätte analog stattfinden können, dann wäre hier ein Kino gewesen. Bevor wir mit dem Gespräch beginnen zu dem Film Peripheria, möchte ich jetzt noch auf den Kino-Kino-Publikumspreis hinweisen, der auch dieses Jahr wieder vergeben wird, gestiftet vom Bayerischen Rundfunk und von Dreisat. Informationen dazu, wie immer, wie man eben über einen Film abstimmt, finden Sie auf unserer Filmprogrammseite. Peripheria erzählt von einem Stadtentwicklungsgebiet, ungefähr acht, neun Kilometer nördlich von Barcelona in Katalonien, von der heutigen Stadt Santa Coloma. Die hat rund 120.000 Einwohner. Und Xavi Esteban und Uday Echarte haben darüber einen Film gedreht, Peripheria eben. Die beiden begrüße ich jetzt, die sind mir zugeschaltet. Hello. 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 So, um, How did you get the idea to make a film about Santa Coloma? Um, well, um, I'm from Santa Coloma and um, the story of the film uh, began because I wrote a book about uh, one part of the story that occurs in the film because I'm a journalist And I just investigated a part of the story of Santa Coloma that, that wasn't investigated yet. Um, especially how the citizens uh, changed the city during Franco's dictatorship. Um, it was, uh, Santa Coloma was a big city, but it was a, it was a kind of slum without public services. And then just citizens um, um, Organized, organized with an architect that, that was called Xavier Valls and with uh, neighbor gatherings and, and, and mobilizations, demonstrations and other kind of things, they just uh, changed the city, uh, making a popular plan, um, which is an um, urban plan made by, made by the neighbors. And then uh, in many years, they changed the city. They, um, achieve uh, all the public services that they hadn't. And so this was the idea that, that made us to think about doing a documentary yeah. afterwards. Yeah. And you are living in Santa Coloma? Yes, well, now I live in, in Barcelona, but okay. really now I am in Santa Coloma because I'm in my mother's home. So yeah, it's like... So you, you were born in Santa Coloma? Yes. And your yes. mother is still living there, or? Yes. Yes. Yes, and I'm now there. Yes. <laughs> okay. In in your mother's flat. Yes. <laughs> okay. And Xavi, um, are you also in Santa Coloma, or what? What no. is your relation to the city? Yes. Um, my relation to uh, with Santa Coloma is that um, I was a friend with um, with Xavi Valls, with the son of, of the architect Xavi Valls. And, and one day uh, he um, uh, told me about, about his father, about how, how he died, because uh, he died in a, in a, in a in terrorist a attack. attack. Yeah. Uh, yes. Uh, so of, it was a it, it was a bombing attack, or uh, yes, uh, and it was a very a very famous uh, terrorist at attack because uh, it was very very cruel, no, uh, very, but well, uh, it was very shocking to the population, and and when when I uh, when when he told me that. 
and he told me uh, the things that 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 he made in in Santa Coloma. Uh, uh, this uh, it's this popular plan. And he he helped the people with the urban him. planning. And he helped the people with the urban planning. Yes. 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 Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And and when when he told me that I I thought that that in this story uh, um, had to be known uh, to to all the people, <laughs> and 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 when I read uh, Oday's book, I saw that there uh, there was um, the elements uh, to to make a movie, yeah. and and and. We met each other and we started to, to work together. So have you both been before interested in architecture and urban planning or was it kind of incidentally that, that you, you, you know the son of the architect and uh, whether you're, you have been living there, um, have you a relationship to urban planning and architecture? In my everyday life, no, really. Um, it's important here that it's a kind of urban um, architecture or urban participation. It's um, very pop popular. So it's, that's what it makes uh, it different or unknown because normally current people don't do urban planning, you know? Um, so here we are in front of something that may be new or maybe just shocking because we are talking about neighbors that most of them couldn't even read or write a letter. I mean, uh, Xavi Valls, the architect, um, just showed them how to make urban planning against the planning that Franco's administration was trying to, to make because they thought that they, it wasn't democratic, but be, because of it was an urban planning that was uh, submitted to urban speculation. And um, it, it, there, there were a lot of building new buildings, but no public services. So it was, it, um, was born in the, by necessity, you know, because they needed to do that because of their everyday life. So uh, um, we have, um, um, we have tried to, to talk about it in this sense, in the sense of the, the neighbors or, you know, uh, because it was uh, a planification made by the bottom and then to the top because yeah. some of, of that neighbors then, they won the elections when, when the demo democracy came and they applied this urban planning. So finally they uh, could transform the city. Yeah. And the change happened um, during the Franco No, era? afterwards. Afterwards. Yeah. yeah, when democracy came, some of them um, um, were in political parties and they just won the elections and then they applied the popular planification that yeah. people made. So it was in the 1970s, after the death of Franco? Yes, yes. yes. In 1979 were the first uh, local elections. Yeah. And is it in Spain, Santa Coloma, um, a kind of a famous example for urban planning, for participation of the neighborhood or not? It's, it's not, it's not uh, famous uh, of, of that. Uh, it is more famous um, for example, uh, Sarda, uh, the, the, uh, the, the, the urban planification of, of Barcelona, for example, and, but, but uh, it's very, it's, well, it's very um, un, unknown, no? this, this story, and, and that's why, because, that's why we um, we or, or I need uh, I needed to to bring this story to the people because because it's very unknown and 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 it's very uh, unfair that that that, that it, 
this yeah. uh, invisible um, invisible no como se diría it's invisible invisible yeah, invisible. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. and and as it's and it it has to be known but yeah. but on all the on the country no yeah so mm. how was your film received in spain is it now known or uh, is it uh, still a minority uh now it's still a minority but we hope um well we are, we haven't been in the cinemas yet so we hope that when we can be in the cinemas uh, so it will yeah. be more known than now so the cinemas are also locked down in spain from corona yeah yes but uh, well, now um, they are opening, but uh, with, a, with a lot of restrictions of... of um, yeah, uh, of security about, and... Yeah. Yes, yeah. a number of... of um, so you, you have to, to wear a mask and it's, yeah. it, you have uh, the, the um, place between you has to be free yes. be between the neighbor and so on. Yes, it, 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 has, uh, it has been a pity because uh, it has matched no? uh, the, 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 um, the release of, of the film with, with this time and, and we, have to, we have had to, to um, postpone it, yeah. uh, to move, mm, yeah. <laughs> the date. <laughs> Yeah. in, in uh, a lot of times and, and now I think that uh, now it's time uh, it's the time uh, in, in, ja in, in, in June in June yes June uh, yeah. we, we will release the yeah. film in the cinemas yeah. in the theater I'm interested um, about the history of Santa Coloma um, the city uh, I think is very old I read uh, some thousand years ago, there have been some people yet, um, but I think the, the main population is now from the 20th century. Um, yeah. a, the, the city, um, w was it in, in, in great forms built by Franco or during the Franco time or before? No, during the Franco time. Yeah. It was a, a little village, um, um, but in Franco times, a lot of immigrants came to work to Barcelona, and Santa Coloma is very, it's next to Barcelona, yeah. uh, very near from there, and um, there was a lot of free space to build buildings. Yeah. Um, and it was cheaper to live in Santa Coloma than, in li than living in yeah. Barcelona. So a lot of workers, uh, came here to live and then just the population grow a lot and in that uh, in that time during Franco's um, we call here desarrollismo because a lot of people came from other, part, other parts of Spain to work here and cities in the outskirts of Barcelona like Santa Coloma grew a lot um, with this urban speculation because a lot of, of um, building enterprises get very rich for that. But the people um, uh, who, who lived in Santa Coloma or in other uh, cities in the outskirts of Barcelona, um, they just uh, broke their flats, but then they saw that there weren't schools, there weren't clinics or hospitals, even squares or parks. So all the buildings, all the buildings. Yeah. And so they started to fight for yeah. their rights. And um, when, when they begin to change the city uh, to build parks and toilets and so on, um, they, they hired the architect, Xavier Valls, or uh, how, how did they come together? Okay, Xavier Valls, um, uh, he, he's, he's Catalan, so he was Catalan. He lived here, but he was an architect that was very interested um, seeing all the people that came here. So he worked as a volunteer. So he went to them and they 
came came to him and they just um, talking and thinking what to do to change things. Um, uh, Xavier Valls uh, also um, was in the political party that had a lot of theory about about how to how to um, work with uh, in with these urban movements. He, it was a Marxist uh, party, and and it was just a relationship of yeah of, of sharing things. Mm. He was not hired. He he just make it because he thought that he had to do that. So yeah. he was um, uh, solidarity, you yeah. know. And what other th things did he do? Uh, did he some buildings also in Barcelona, or uh, what, what was his work, or how much was his work Santa Coloma, and uh, how much had he time to do other things? Well, he, he, he uh, planned other buildings in Santa Coloma, in Sabadell, who are other cities uh, also in the, in the outskirts of Barcelona. But um, he was a good architect, I think, I don't know. But he, the most important thing uh, he did was this popular plan, because it was very unique. There aren't many examples of this in Spain, and I think even in Europe or in the world. So I, we think that his main work was the popular plan because it was very um, special and different and, and also can be inspiring nowadays for current movements that work for the right for the city. Yes, um, in Germany, the, the participation in urban planning has arised in, in the last years enormously so uh, most projects which are done are uh, now with participation of the neighbors. Um, so is Santa Coloma perhaps kind of a good example also in Spain for other projects? Mm, yes, yes, but yes. Um, I think that it's a, a good example. And, and I think that that the popular plan is a good example of how um, people can organize without uh, the supervision of, of, of power, no? um, because they organize themselves and, and without asking, asking uh, without waiting something from another uh, people, no? uh, yeah. themselves, no? and I think that uh, this is a good example in, in, in this way, in other ways. But uh, I, I interest, um, I'm interested in in, in this uh, this auto uh, auto gestion, no? um, mm -hmm. uh, well, the so, organization uh, uh, without the power, no? yeah. yeah. It, uh, many times, um, I don't know how is it in Germany, but here many times, um, whole towns or mayors, they make this kind of um, participation, but at least they do what they want to do. So <laughs> they talk with people and just they get their opinions, but then um, they do what they want. I, yeah. I mean, it's just like a formal thing, but um, they really don't decide what is going yeah. to happen. And, and now here is the opposite because yeah. it starts in the bottom and then it goes to the top. So it's, it's really, um, uh, I don't know I, how to say it, but it's, it makes a big, huge transformation because it's something very authentic. I don't know. It's, um, you know, so at least the administration has to apply the popular plan because of the pressure of the people because they they have voted for that yeah. so they, ha they had to do it and yeah. if they didn't do it or if they wouldn't do it um the neighbors will have said hey you have to do it because you have said it and we have decided it so you have to do it yeah so it's not a fake participation <laughs> no <laughs> no it's not cosmetic participation yeah, yeah. So, um, how would you describe it? Um, is Santa Coloma today a good place to live? Are the people happy there? 
Yes, yes. I think it's a very good city to live because he had he has changed a lot. He now there are a lot of public services here because the city has changed a lot, and um, it's uh, near from Barcelona, so people is happy here. But it's mm. also um, it's still a city full of immigrants too because a lot of people come here to to work in Barcelona and they found here cheaper flats well they are expensive yeah. now but cheaper than in Barcelona but here the quality of life is very high yeah I read that there are also uh, many immigrants from China in Santa Coloma and from Pakistan and um, from North Africa mostly but they are not so much in your film why there's not so much que no yeah. llega, que no inmigrantes, I, i think the the, the 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 most ones are spanish well um in in the in the beginning in the first uh the first yeah. part of, of the film uh yes but uh, but later Yeah, uh, there are some. Yes, uh, yes, and 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 precis precisely, uh, we we had uh, an bueno, um, we wanted to 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 include in the film yeah. uh, people from other. Uh, Cultures, no? Yeah. Because um, I think uh, that that if if the um, left organizations um, don't integrate these these people, um, they they have no future, no? Yeah. And I think that uh, they are now who are living there and and and. And we have to to dialogue, and to and we have to listen, and and I think that um, it's not uh, it it, it um, there's a lot of distance uh, yeah. yet, and and it's uh, I think that it's a pity, and it's a, uh, it's it's so bad, but in in the film, yes. Uh, Is uh, Fatima and and Ama Ayman, who is from Morocco, uh, yeah. and and Jamie, who is from Puerto Rico, and bueno, uh, Imane, yeah. Silaniema. Yes. But would you say that immigrants or people from other cultures that they um, have it better in? Uh, Santa Coloma than in other cities, that there is uh, more integration, more solidarity? I, um, um, I think it's the same than in other cities. I'm yeah. not sure it's better in Santa Coloma, but, but it's real that here, um, we, this is a kind of tradition because um, most of the people here have um, his origins in other parts of Spain or in other countries. So yeah. I don't know if, it's the, if there is more integration. I don't think so, but um, really here, there is a lot of uh, diversity uh, in the citizens because yeah, it's a um, city that has received a lot, of, a lot of people from abroad and from other parts of Spain. Yeah. So, what is your next project? Have you together a new project, and will it be also about architecture and urban planning? Well, um, we are um, working now in a, in a website um, to put um, some recordings that we haven't used in the film. We have uh, some interviews and and a lot of materials that we think that are important just to 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 live there for, for history i mean and we are working we are working on it yeah now. so it's a kind of of oral history website oral <laughs> history 
So it's spoken history um, with the interviews yes. from the people of Santa Coloma. Yeah. Yes, because um, we made uh, some interviews to the people, to the people who made the plan, and but uh, later uh, we 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 saw that the film uh, um, refused uh, the, the interviews, and and we well we saw that that the film work it uh, better without interviews and only um, observing the people and, yeah. and, and, and following, following them. Yeah. Yes. It's, it, so, it's curious that, that you say that, that, that there's no immigrants because not in so the, much. In, uh, <laughs> in, in the, some, some people of, of, of Santa Coloma um, has criticized uh, our film uh, because we uh, we <laughs> show um, uh, many of we them show many too much, ma uh, lot of them. Too much yeah. too much yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. so um, the perspectives of the spectators are different yeah. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> it's interesting. It, yeah. Interesting, yes, yeah. yes. So everyone sees the film with another eye. Yes, yes. Yeah. I like yes. your film very much. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So thank you for the talk, for the conversation, and thank good you. luck with your film and with your website. <laughs> thank you. And have a good time. And I hope that many people will see the film in the Dogfest Munich. We Thank hope you. So. It's been a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Ciao. Ja, das waren Xavi Esteban und Odai äh, Echarte. Echarte? Echarte, yes. Echarte, yes. Der sehenswerte Film von Ihnen, Peripheria, steht beim Dogfest noch bis zum 29. Nein, bis zum 23. Mai zur Verfügung. Und das ist, wie gesagt, eine internationale Premiere in der Sektion Panorama in Kooperation mit der Bayerischen Architektenkammer. Vielen Dank.